I'm like, <laughs> I'll give you, I'll spare you guys. Um, okay, so yay, today was a good day. Two pounds lost. What? Load weight gone, and um, I'm down a pound. So um, I am like super stoked. I started at 208 on uh, the third. That was my first VLCD. I weighed at 208. Um, I mean, I weighed before I loaded. Okay. I weighed 208 and then after load I was 215 and then um, so today what four days later Friday Saturday Sunday Monday so five days later I'm down flipping uh, eight pounds so wait is that right eight seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yeah eight pounds sorry I'm a counter on my own here numbers do not talk to me so um yeah, math is not that good. Thing. So, anyways, what? I'm so stoked. Okay, it is 10.30 in the morning, and this is how much water I got left. <laughs> I'm so rocking this round, you guys. I'm like so... Uh. Okay, so uh, Fluffy yesterday had um, challenged us to, you know, give two reasons why uh, I won't cheat, and... I mean, I didn't even have to think about it. I was like, number one reason, number one reason. <laughs> I know it works. I know this diet works. Oops. Honk my horn. I know it works. I know it works. And when we cheat, it's just because we don't trust the process. Um, and that's something I've learned in all of my rounds and my best successful rounds have been when I just trust the process, when I don't get emotional about it, you know? Um, when you step on that scale and you see that goose and goose and goose and goose, you know, if you guys remember, he says, Simeon says, there is a plateau week, you know? We will feel sluggish that week. We will, it will be the worst week ever. Besides the first two days of like headaches and you know, kind of fogginess. I mean, you know, that really does happen. We have to trust the process. Like we've gone off on like 800 calorie protocol and this and this and that and that. And you know, it's really black and white set in stone. This is how you do it. Um, so that's number one, you know, I, I know it works. I want to get this weight off. I trust this process and I don't want to cheat because I want to lose as much as I can, okay? So, that's number one. Number two, um, number two is I don't want to cheat on the HCG protocol because, um, I mean, Fluffy's right. These are hormones that we're messing with. And I'm 41 years old. And I'm not sure when this posy menopause or whatever happens, but um, I am just ready to cleanse, be healthy, spend the next 40 years of my life not doing HCG, not trying to lose weight. I mean, it's really only been, well, you know, it's been 10 years, 10 years that I've been dieting. I. I, when I was heavy, I loved my body, loved my body, loved myself. I, I guess I wouldn't say love my body. I loved myself. And so I never dieted. I never did anything like that till I went to have a baby. I wanted to try to have a baby and I was so big. I was almost 300 pounds <laughs> that, um, I think I saw a picture of myself. I mean, you don't even think that you look like that, you know? But same thing happens on the other side of the spectrum, too. You lose tons of weight. You have this body dysmorphia thing where your brain doesn't notice that you've lost weight. And so, um, you know, you don't see it. And then you see a picture and you're like, whoa. Okay, it might be too, um, too much TMI, but when I met my, met my boyfriend almost five years ago, um... <laughs> I had been maintaining for a long time and I was looking really good, but I still had that little bit of doubt that like it 
didn't look like what I what I thought it looked like, you know? So I was laying on the bed naked and he took a picture of me on his phone and I was like, what, what? I start like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, let me see that picture. Don't take a picture of my butt. Like, oh my God. Like that was always like the worst part of my body, you guys. When I was almost 300 pounds, I was all stomach, arms, and ass. That was it. Like my legs were, you know, like, I mean, when you're almost 300 pounds, you're fat everywhere, but more around my butt and my stomach and arms than anywhere else. So I was like mortified when he did that. And then he took the picture and then I was like, oh, I go, oh, oh, that's my butt. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I guess, I guess that was all right. You can take a picture of it. <laughs> so anyways, you know, I only started this journey 10 years ago and there's so many people I know and so many of us that have been doing this their entire lives um, and I just I don't want to do it I'm just I'm I'm so over this whole uh, I know how to do it I know how to keep it off and that is my reason number two that I am not gonna cheat on protocol this time because um, uh, these are hormones that we're messing around with and this protocol does work but I mean I don't think it's intended to work over and over and over and over and over <laughs> I don't know I think we can't go up and down up and down like like I am you know like I get really heavy and then I lose tons and it's just like that can't be good on our heart you know like it just can't it's just not good so I just I want to get back to exercise I want to get back to the norm and you know HCG cleanses you out and um, it allows you like just a clean white canvas to start painting on you know so I want my base of my canvas canvas to be bright and and um, I want to be strong you know and I, I want to feel my muscles again I was very healthy <laughs> before having my two-year-old <laughs> And I was really doing it, man. I was shining out. I was like, you know, kettlebell queen, man. I was like insane. And those might not be the things that um, I, I do to maintain now. Like, I think I had uh, commented on Susie's like, you know, sometimes the things that we used to do that used to get us on track and get us going, um, sometimes they don't work again it you have to change it up you know we're humans this is life we go through a process of things and nothing stays the same you know it just keeps rolling and rolling and and we have um, the power to change the power to change our lives and the power to change us you know I mean you're always gonna be who you are down inside you know and and you should always love that but we should try to be the highest version of that that we could possibly think you know about ourselves and, I, and you know I got that from um, Mr. Neil Donald Walsh and um, you know I've always kept that with me that was something I read you know years ago when I was very young and and you know over time you kind of like lose your spirituality and then you try to get it back and you're trying to balance it out and I know firsthand that health, physical health, starts a branch of trees out to um, everything else. Physical health, mental health, um, just, you know, it, it just, you know, your family, your work, um, you know, just, it, it just, physical health makes your entire existence better. And, um, you know, that's, that's my reason for doing this protocol. It works. And I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to cheat myself. And I'm not going to cheat anybody else on these vlogs, you know. I was watching my vlogs from years ago. Or not years ago. From, like, the same time last year. Like, my birthday. And, like, these same times we were getting ready to go to Vegas and do our thing. And, all my vlogs are like, this is it, this is it, this is all, you know, this is the last time I'm going to do this. And, um, <laughs> for some reason I'm having a hard time getting into my parking spot. Um, 
you know, and I just hear it as a year and I'm saying the same thing and I just don't want to say it. I'm just not going to do it anymore. I'm just not, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm so just done. And, um, you know, I keep saying that. And so that's number two. And <laughs> well, maybe number three, but I don't want to do pro uh, cheat on protocol. And Ricky, girl, let me tell you. You should have called me, Mama, or texted me or something. You know, I would have helped you walk you through this because uh, there was a few times on Easter where I almost caved. I did one shot of Crown Royal because it was my sister's uh, man's birthday. But then again, it's like, you know, here I am giving excuses for a birthday, but I did one shot. And I kind of got this little buzz, and um, it sort of started just making everything... Um, like changing my mind about and stuff <laughs> like making it like uh, you know I mean they say marijuana is the gateway drug to other things no it's alcohol because it definitely like lowers your inhibitions you know and all of a sudden just ev your morals and everything go out the window so um but there was a few times where I almost ate some chips and I almost um, but I did eat, my mom made this, it's like the squash dish, it's called calabacitas, and um, it's got like squash, corn, tomatoes, and cheese in it. Um, and so I had a little bit of that, which is definitely not on protocol. Um, and I had that shot of crown, and my mom made like a red chili chicken. But I had brought my own stuff to the barbecue, and I know you said you did too, instead of putting your chicken breast on there. Um, but I would have talked you into it if you would have called me. So just know you can always text. I'm always here. Um, any of us are. You know that. You could have probably gone online and, you know, had everybody talk you out of it. But um, this is why we're doing this, you guys. The support. We need support. So don't feel bad about yourself. And I'm not going to say, you know, oh, it's okay, whatever. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But I think we just sugarcoat it. We cushion it, too, for each other. We allow each other to do that and be like, it's okay, jump on next time. You know, that was a great challenge for Fluffy to sit, to give us, you know, two reasons why we won't cheat. And, and dang it, this is my round. And, you know, I'm on it. I'm on it and, and I'm on a roll and I'm sticking to it. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. If I do fuck up and cheat or whatever, sorry my language, um, uh, you know, I'll let you know, but right now, today, I mean, I'm just really <laughs> a cheerleader right now, so I'm here at work, and, um, I love you girls, and, you know, let's just take this on, let's just do this, even if it's gonna take us a couple of years to, to do it, and just, you know, I know I have a goal that I want to get to, and I'm gonna try, this, I'm, I'm definitely going for it, so, um, I love you ladies. Ciao.